Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with a wind power video. Today is Tuesday the 24th of February and the time now is approximately half past five and the weather has been really, really windy. It's been crazily windy from all of last night and all of today and the wind has been blowing and blowing like mad. It was sunny, sunny earlier as well but now it's clouded over but it is really really windy the Rutland 913 has been spinning like mad all day long the camera is freezing it again but take my word for it it is really spinning if I show you the trees outside you can see that they are whipping around so that's how windy it is I've been outside today doing some work in the garden and it has been crazily windy. While I was working outside the turbine was spinning really fast making a sort of whooshing noise as the blades go around. I've never heard that before but today has been crazily crazily windy. So if we come back indoors I will just shine the light back on the panel okay. Okay. I'll try and shine a light on it so you can see okay the wind turbine peaked at 58.2 watts that was a current of 4.19 amps peak I have never seen values like this before and as you can see it is really windy we have generated we have generated 3.324 amp hours that's 40.3 watt hours and as you can see the light is on on the charge controller it has been on pretty much all day and the wind has been blowing and blowing and blowing like crazy and the power goes into double digit figures very frequently as you can see we hit four just over four amps today There we go again. And it's been like this all day long. I'll just show you the readings. It's hard for me to hold the camera and the light today. So I'm doing my best. While you look at the wind uh, input meter, I will tell you that the solar panels peaked at at 123 watts that was a current of 3.46 amps we produced 5.47 amp hours and 211.7 watt hours I'll tell you that around lunchtime I turned the solar panels off just to see how well the wind turbine would work by itself but it works okay but I think that I will use the solar for the main charging so about four or five hours later I turn it back on again so, so this is you're looking at the wind charger input meter now today was crazily windy and we only peaked at 58 watts which was just over 4 amps now this turbine is rated up to 300 watts and that would be a current of about 18 amps so I'm a bit underwhelmed by the current I was hoping I could get 5 or 6 amps out of it today but it's not to be and the wind was blowing like mad so I feel this turbine has more to give but I'm not quite sure how to get it out of the wind turbine 
Uh, it's been crazily windy all day long and we got 40 watt hours. Uh, out of the solar panels I had 211 watt hours and the hours just up to lunchtime. So uh, I'm not overly pleased with that. So I'm trying to work out what I can do to improve that. So I just thought I'd share this with you. As you see 20 watts come up there on the meter. I'll show you that the that is the ammeter. If I wait for a big puff and you'll see. I shouldn't have to wait too long today. Sorry about all the camera shake. It is hard to hold the camera and lean over at the same time. Here comes a reading. There we go. I'm going to zoom right in on the meter. I am stretching for this, so that's why it's a bit shaky. This is the cheap 10 amp analog meter I bought from eBay for about five pounds. I would be hoping that today that I could get at least mid scale on this, which is five amps. Six or seven amps would have been better. With the amount of wind I'm getting, I thought I should get six or seven amps out of this. So I'm not quite sure why I'm not. So let's wait for another blow to come. I'm trying to read the meter as well as look at where I'm pointing the camera. So that's that. Here comes the current. Anyway, that's how we've been doing today. The light's been on pretty much all day and it has been spinning like crazy. Just show you back outside again. The meat that is the Rutland 913 spinning round. It's been spinning and spinning and spinning all day today. So that's good. So with this sort of wind, I'll have a benchmark for what I can expect from the Rutland 913. It is on just a 10 foot mast at the bottom of the garden. And we are surrounded by houses and trees, so it's not in an ideal location. But it is spinning, the camera is slowing it down, but it is really spinning. Really, really spinning. So that's the Rutland 913. So this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching. And today we hit 58.2 watts, which was 4.19 amps. That's the highest I've ever seen. So thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye. Thank you.